Good morning, students, and welcome to math today. And today we are working on 3-6 in your Envision workbook, and we are on page 113. And I have written your I can statement here, and I'm going to read it to you, and you can read along with me at the top right-hand side of your book. I can use drawings and equations to solve one-step and two-step problems. Okay, so today we are going to be doing uh, story problems uh, within 100, and story problems are the same as word problems. You might know them as word problems, and uh, when we're solving two-step word problems, we have to solve the first step first to be able to come to the answer in the second step. Okay, so that's one more time. When we solve two-step problems, there's multiple steps. We have one step to solve first, and we use the answer in the first step to solve for the second answer, the one in the second step. Okay, let's get started. So the solve and share reads, the team has the red team has 15 more points than the blue team. The blue team has 36 points. How many points does the red team have? So I'm going to have you do that. And it says, choose any strategy, solve, explain your work. Now remember, our strategies are the compensation strategy, the break apart numbers, and the number line is a good strategy, and the number grid. 100 script like I have behind me. Now remember, these are also great ways to double check your work when you're using one of the other two strategies. Okay, so uh, if you're in the classroom, we'll do this all and share together. If you're watching this on your own, then go ahead and pause the video here and come back after you have solved the problem on page 113. Okay, so now we are going to Welcome back, and we are moving to page 114. That the, the bars are proportional to the values. So you see how this is 9 and that's 3? Well, 9 is a larger number than 3, so 9 has a bigger strip, bigger part of the strip, whereas 3 just has a smaller part. Whereas over here, 8 and 9 are very close in value, and there the strips are closer in length. Okay, so when you solve two-step problems, you have to think about what are they asking you. First of all, you slow down, and then you think about what are they asking you. You need to read it, okay, or you have someone read it to you, okay, and then you need to figure out are they asking me to plus or are they asking me to minus, and different words are associated with the different computations. Add it, adding to, to greater would uh, be more or altogether. Those are words that are associated with addition. With subtraction, you have different words. You have the word less. I mean, you have to do the first step to solve, so you can use the, the answer in the first step to solve for the second step. All right, let's get started. Um, I like to get some different colors to use. So I have some markers here. And what I do is I like to use the different colors to highlight the things that I'm being asked to do. So I will use purple to highlight 
the first part that says Matt sold 17 tickets. So in your book, you can do that too. Matt sold 17 tickets. And I'm going to highlight 17 and circle the number 17. Amy sold three more tickets than that, Jan, and I'm going to circle three, and I'm going to write a plus, okay? And then the last part is what they're asking me to look for. How many tickets did each person sell? So that takes me to my whiteboard, and you can get your whiteboard as well in your marker. They want me to figure out how much tickets did each person sell. So they already gave me one, Matt. Matt sells 17 tickets. So that's information that I know already because they told me that. And fewer means uh, a subtraction. So if she sold eight fewer, and Matt sold 17, I'm going to find out how many she sold. Because 17 minus 8, and I'm going to count back and use my number grid. 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you can't see it up there, but I got to 9. And you could work along in your number grid. I think I might have dropped mine. Number 100's grit, and you can see it over here. And I got nine. Okay. And now I know that Jen sold nine tickets. Matt sold 17. But I'm not done yet because the next thing asks me, Amy sold three more tickets than Jen. So this is going to be a plus and this is going to be three, and it's three more than nine, the amount that Jen sold, and this is Amy. And so, to answer the big question, how many tickets did each person sell? Matt sold 17. That was information that was provided. I used that information to find how many Jen sold. Jen sold nine. And then I used that information to find out how much Amy sold. And Amy sold 12. And they're selling tickets. I need to one and two step problems. All right, you can do this too. Go ahead and practice. Do the guided practice. Have someone check it with you, check it for you. Um, they supply and they supply the answers for you in the book so it helps you. Once you get done, please take a picture of assessment practice problem number 10. Make sure you solve it and show me your steps. Don't just write the answer. Show me the steps and then take a picture and upload it to this page in Seesaw. Okay, and I'll see you back in the online class.